Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to learn coalesce function in SQL Server. Coalesce function is one of the important function that solves a lot of problem when you are trying to generate a output. So in this video, we will pick one problem and try to see how we can solve that using coalesce function in SQL Server. So without wasting much time, let's get started. All right, so let's try to understand coalesce function in SQL Server. So you can see that over here, I have one table, student college allotment. College allotment. So in this table, you can see that we have student name and there are some colleges, IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, IIT Indore, BHU, Delhi, Kanpur. And if you look at the first row, so for Saurabh, IIT Madras is allotted. For Anil, IIT Delhi is allotted. For Triveni, IIT Bombay is allotted. Similarly for Shibai, Akas, and if you look at the RAM, no college is being allotted to RAM. And now I don't want my output like this. So from this table, I want my output to look like this, where I want to give the name of the student and its status, whether he or she got a seat in a IT or not. So for that, you can see that we have allotted, allotted over here and not allotted over here. Now this is the question or this is the problem that we want to solve. Now to solve this problem, we have to use coalesce function of SQL Server. Okay, so let's look at it, how you can write this square. So what is coalesce function? Basically, you can see that I can give student and here I have to give coalesce function and here I have to give the column name starting from first column so what it is going to do if you look at the table structure so you can see that in this query first it will print the student name and then we want to print the status of the college so what we are going to do first we are going to check whether the student is allotted in IIT Bombay so first it will check, is there any value in this particular cell? If the value is null, that means here it is going to move or it is going to check in, it is going to check if it is null, it is going to check in the next call. So now we will specify here IIT Madras. So here, if the first column is null, it is going to check in the next column that we have provided, which is IIT Madhra. And then we will write IIT Indore. So here you can see that for Anil, these are null. So it is, it is going to check in IIT Bombay, then IIT Madhra, then IIT Indore, and the next column which we have provided that is IIT BHU. Similarly, here IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, like this. And finally, if no value is not null, we can specify our own value. So first, it will print the student name. So here it will print Saurabh. Then it will go to the IIT Bombay column, this column. If it is null, it will go to the next column, which is IIT Madras. If it is allotted, it will print that value. So here you can see that in the second row, it will print Anil. Then it will go and check it at IIT Bombay, then IIT Madras, IIT BHU, IIT Indore, and then IIT Delhi. So here it will get the value. So it will print allotted. Next, it will go to Triveni. So if it goes to the last row, that is Ram, it will print the value Ram. 
Then it will check at IIT Bombay, then IIT Madras, then IIT Indore. Basically, in this order, IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, IIT Indore, IIT BHU, IIT Delhi, if it, IIT Indore. If there is no non-null value, that means it is, it is going to go to the last value which we have provided. That is not allotted. Now, let me run this query. So, now you can see that we have got our output, which is student name and the college status. So that is how you can use coalesce function to solve such kind of a problem. So from this table, we can generate this output using coalesce function. So thank you. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for joining in.